The legend of Chief Latif Jakonde lives on. Recently, the Nigerian Union of Journalists Lagos State Council published a book to celebrate the 85th birthday of the first civilian governor of Lagos State, who is still fondly remembered by Nigerians for his remarkable leadership. The book, titled Jakonde, Fountain of Excellence, is a biography on the life and works of Jakonde. Present to celebrate this icon were Governor of Lagos State, Babatunde Rajiv Fashola, former Ogun State Governor, Shegun Oshoba, and associates of the ex-governor. Chief Jakonde was co-founder of the Nigerian Union of Journalists, co-founder and first president of the Nigerian Guild of Editors, and co-founder and former president of the Newspaper Proprietors Association of Nigeria. The Nelson Mandela Foundation is publishing the impressive Madiba Legacy Series, which is a comic series targeted at Nigerian secondary school students and urban youth readers. The foundation found the perfect partner in Folk Tales Moonlight in its bid to distribute the series. Folk Tales Moonlight is interested in promoting Africa's rich oral culture and creativity through digital comics. If the world will ever have access to African comic series like it has had to comics like Spider-Man, Superman, Batman, or the X-Men, then hopefully Folk Tales Moonlight will be the one to make it happen. This event today is in our only two way to pay tribute to the late Nelson Mandela um, because we have a partnership with the Nelson Mandela Foundation considering uh, um, they have an autobiography comic on Nelson Mandela and we're part of their distribution partners on it. So what we're doing with this project is um, we're trying to make the book, the print version of the book free so we can distribute to schools as part of our CSR initiatives. And, and by doing this, uh, what we want to impact or the, 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 the impact we want from it is to actually get kids to start reading more 
and also to see, you know, Mandela, Mandela is somebody everybody's seen as a hero and a leader, but we want to inculcate that, you know, the, the, the qualities he stood for by actually expressing his lifestyle in comic format. Because by comics, they get to really see it, and, you know, comics are very good mediums for kids to actually um, interact with their reading. Oh, maybe the trying to do here is to make the younger ones to know that this is life is not all about making money or living out. You have to give in something to get something. You have to at least let the younger ones know that in every life we live today, we we'll have something to answer. What do we? What are we leaving behind for the younger ones? At least they are our future. They, like we say, they are the future leaders. So how would they lead if they don't know what it takes to lead? So Nelson Mandela is a man we all emulate to live like, or to, to be like. That's basically what we're trying to do. So um, I, what I will actually say again is um, it, 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 it took us a while to come up with this idea of doing it through comics. It took us a while to come up with the whole idea of doing it through comics. And how we want to push it across the nation or other African countries. We have, we, are, we have an e-book shop where if you go online, there are so many other comic books you can see about other people, not just Nelson Mandela. In our bid to promote a reading culture among our children, we had a meeting edition of our children's book club series of events. The edition took place on Sunday, the 27th of July, 2014, and it was a blast for the children who were there. We designed it to be a combination of books and fun. And thankfully, there were lots of books and plenty of fun for the kids and parents who brought them. Pioneer stand-up comedian and entertainer Ali Baba and other role models joined the children to enjoy books and have a lot of fun. Just in case you missed how the event went for the kids, here's a bit of a repeat to watch. Come in, come. Books, like man, like girl. For all of you that are here, I don't know which is your best book, but if you can tell me something you read lately, if you can tell me something you read lately, and you can tell me about the book, the name of the book, the title of the book, and the person that wrote the book, you get 1,000 naira. Hold on, hold on. I have these children, Igbo children. The way they woke up to the money just now. <laughs> or are they in Jebu? <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> Alright, no, no, okay, so who goes first? Who goes first? Okay, let me try this girl from Quara. Yeah, come. Ah, what happened? It's not fair. She's not fair. She's dark, right? Yeah, come, come. No, after her, I'll take a boy. Okay. You tell me the title of the book you have read and what the book is all about. And if it's if it's a nice story, you get one thousand naira. Are we ready? The title of my book is. It's not your book. You read the book, Abi. The title of the book I read is title of the book, my book. Where's your book? <laughs> All right. So, which other child was there? No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, okay, come. Ah, uh, this boy. Ah, five boy. He looks like Will Smith. Climb here so that you can get tall a bit. <laughs> What you read the book, right? You know the person that wrote the book. The name, the title of the book I read is Gifted Hands. This one is a politician. Oh. 
Are you laughing? The title of the book I read is Gifted Us. It's all about a small boy who grew up who grew up without a father, but with a mother. They were poor when they, their father left. He started growing up, he started reading. He became intelligent in his class, but he not start, he not start um, the most intelligent in his class. He got low grades when he was first in, when he was in his class, but he started reading and reading. Then he got intelligence in his class. The name of the man is Ben Kasi. Please give him a round of applause, please. Uh, no, for this, for this, he gets 2,000 naira. Hey, let's clap for one two. Let's we all have votes for you. Huh? Two, three, go! Yeah, yeah. clap for yourselves, guys. you that the national green essay competition is still on if you know anyone between age 11 and 16 in any nigerian secondary school please encourage them to participate in this maiden contest 13 winners will be taken on a sponsored learning trip to europe watch this to learn more about it the uplift development foundation and the channels book club presents the first national green essay competition for students of secondary schools in Nigeria between the ages of 11 and 16. The essay competition is based on the book titled Green Education for the Youth, Gefti, by the First Lady of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shah Musu, and is focused towards getting all Nigerian youth on board the mission of sustaining the environment. Visit www.channelstv.com to access the book. Candidates should then write an essay of not more than 1,500 words on ways of preserving the environment as outlined in the book. All completed essays should be sent to Gefty at channelstv.com. Submissions end on August the 15th, 2014. Prize, 13 finalists will be taken on a trip to Europe where they will be trained as future Gefty ambassadors on sustaining the environment. For more information, visit www.channelstv.com or call 0909-532-4915 or 0909-532-4916. The National Green Essay Competition, preserving the environment for future generations. Don't forget you can join us on any of our social media platforms displayed on your screen. My name is Ola Kunle Kasumo. Remember, one great book and change your life. Bye-bye.